Hi, I'm Todd Heitkamp, the owner of Dakota Angler here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, with this week's Two Minute Fishing Report. Well, folks, what a difference a week makes. I mean, last week we had snow, rain, wind, you name it, cold temperatures. This week and this weekend we've had anything but that. Just a fantastic weekend, and it's been very hard for me to recall a weekend like we've had. Uh, I, all I can tell you is I can tell a lot of people enjoyed it because they came into the store sunburned. So obviously they forgot their sun, sunscreen uh, and that's what happens to us. Uh, all us uh, folks that we come out of hibernation up here with the pale white skin here in South Dakota or the upper Midwest, folks remember your sunblock in the times and the weeks leading ahead. And also, folks, before we get started with the fishing report, I want to wish all of you mothers a uh, happy Mother's Day. Uh, obviously, without you, we wouldn't be here, but again, I just appreciate and we want to show our appreciation for all of you mothers out there. And we, again, thank you for everything that you have done for each and every one of us. And as far as the fishing report is concerned, folks, uh, boy, I don't know of a lake that didn't produce fish. Uh, I've heard all kinds of great reports out there. Uh, every lake produced some, uh, whether or not you're talking walleyes, crappie, perch. Uh, smallmouth bass. Guys did well, really well out there and so I'm just going to highlight some of those uh, lakes that really produce some nice quality or at least quantity of numbers of fish. Uh, up in the northeast those lakes included Enemy, Spr uh, Enemy Swim, excuse me, Indian Springs, Bitter as well as Horseshoe. And then down in the southeastern uh, part of the state those lakes included Ponson, Thompson, Oakwood, uh, 81 Ponds, Henry, Sinai uh, uh, Island as well as Madison. Now what have guys been using? A lot of jigs and live bait. Uh, also, uh, jigs and, and uh, plastics have been working pretty well. And then now guys are starting to pull a few spinners. We're using minnows or leeches. And then also the guys out in the boat have been having luck throwing Rapala X wraps into the shallows. So keep that in mind this next week. And then as far as the walleye bite in the Missouri River, guys are still doing okay out there. Guys are pulling plugs, also using jigs and live bait, as well as pulling spinners. And then also guys are, are doing fairly well along the riprap, uh, throwing a rapple of uh, floating wraps. So keep that in mind this next week too. I think that uh, spawn may be pretty much over and done with, but you know, you may pick up a few nice fish, especially late afternoon and evening from shore. And then as far as the crappie bite is concerned, guys are still doing fairly well out there on Ponset, Thompson, and Sinai. And what have they been using? Many, you know, guys have been using live bait and jigs or a hook underneath the bobber. And I've said all along, the shiny hiney continues week after week to produce nice fish. In this week's version of Todd's Tackle Tips, we're going to talk about jigs and jig fishing because this time of year is the best time of the year uh, to use jigs. Whether or not you're talking about jigs and plastics or jigs and live bait, whether or not it's minnows or leeches or even crawlers, all is a perfect time this time of the year uh, to use jigs. And there are a number of different jigs out on the market, whether or not you're talking from VMC, Kalins, uh, Northland, Lindy, you name it, we have it right here at the store. There are a number of other different types of jigs, whether or not you're talking about short shank jigs or long shank jigs, which you would want to use when you're talking about using with plastics, a twister tail or even a, you know, a paddle tail. All those things come into play, that longer shank and that lo longer gap hook will allow that plastic to, to feed on that hook a little bit better than a shorter shank jig, obviously. So again, all these things come into play and really the deciding factor on what type of jig to use is how you're going to fish it. If you're going to fish it from shore, fish it from boat, are you going to cast it, are you going to jig alongside the boat? All come into play and now there are uh, some new jigs out in the market that will make it a little bit easier, such as the new jigs from Lindy, the, the live bait jig has a little bit wider gap to it, so when you set the hook, that hook is going to go right into its mouth, and the hook set uh, percentage is greatly increased because of that wide gap. So if you have any questions about jigs or the type of jigs to use, uh, stop on by here at the store. And one rule of thumb that we always tell people as far as the color of jig is concerned, uh, the brighter the, uh, the water, the, the lighter the color of the water, the brighter colored jig. The darker the color of the water, the darker, darker color to the jig. So that rule of thumb generally works for the most part. There are a few exceptions to that. But again, stop on by, take a look at all we have, all the different jigs that we have, and we'll help you decide which jig is best suited for you on that particular day. Now it's time to take a look at a few photos that you sent in to me this past week. And remember folks, if you'd like your photo included in next week's version of the Two Minute Fishing Report, please send it to me. Send it to Todd at DakotaAngler.com or post it to our Facebook wall. And if I use your photo, your name will be entered into a monthly drawing for a $25 gift certificate. 
Well, folks, before we end this uh, week's report, I want to remind you of a couple of things. Uh, first off, uh, not this weekend, not Mother's Day weekend, but the following weekend is Free Fishing Weekend and Free State Park Entrance Weekend for here in South Dakota. Uh, so mark that on your calendar. And in celebration of that or in recognition of that, we're going to have a number of sales ongoing here at the store, uh, some great deals on rods as well as some combos. So if you're looking for something like that, make sure you stop before that weekend. And we're going to have those sales the week leading into the Free Fishing Weekend. Also, folks, uh, if you're looking for wrappers, we got a lot of uh, questions about our sale prices on shad wraps. Our shad wraps are not really on sale. They're that price year-round, $5.99, cheapest around. That's why we don't ever put them on sale because we don't need to since they're that cheap. But we do have a special promotion going on right now that if you buy any five wrappers, and it doesn't have to be shad wraps, it can be different colors, different sizes, uh, different style wrappers, but if you buy five of them, you get a free T-shirt. So make sure you take advantage of that great promotion that we have going on right now. Well, folks, if you have any other questions about what we carry here or if you need to uh, order a, a flat of crawlers or a pound or a half pound of leeches, feel free to give us a call at 605-336-9132. Well, folks, that's this week's version of the Two Minute Fishing Report. For Dakota Angler, I'm the owner, Todd Heitkamp, and as we say around here, fish on. We'll see you next time, and again, thanks for watching.